pinakaayaw kong trait ng isang trader is yung perfectionism. Perfectionism. Kailangan perfect yung entry ko. Kailangan perfect yung allocation ko. Kailangan perfect yung ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Mali. Ayoko yan. Question number one. What are your process and routines in trading? And how do you develop it? Anong gusto nyong, ta- anong, anong gusto nyong sagot? Yung safe, safe answer o yung detalyeng answer? Detalye, detalye na, coach. Ako, detalye. Hindi na tayo eh. <laughs> so, actually, ano, um, yung actually napakaganda na itong question na ito, no? itong uh, what are your process and routine in trading? Because I believe that uh, ano eh, uh, making your habits into routine is something na parang parang kung mga alam niyo template moves na parang Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, no? So, yung proseso ko when it comes to trading, basically, meron ako set, set schedules for when I sleep, kung kailan ako natulog, at kailan ako nagigising. Napaka-important, no, no? So, as traders, ang variables na tinitingnan natin when it comes to trading is the market market hours natin. And we all know that our market, napakagaano schedule ng market natin. We start 9, 9.30 in the basically 9.30 to 1 o'clock. So doon doon ikot yung mundo natin. Doon natin inaano. No? So basically, ako ang ginagawa ko ay I, I, I have this routine na pagkagising ko. 8 o'clock kasi ako nagigising. Naka-fix yun. 8 o'clock ako nagigising. Magkakape lang ako at maliligo. Okay, napaka napaka crucial noon because kasi habang tulog tayo magigising natin hindi yan agad hindi hindi agad-agad na magigising tayo hindi agad-agad na nagigising yung 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 diwa at yung utak natin so napaka-importante sa akin na pagkagising ko kailangan ko maligo pagkagising ko kailangan ko maligo para magkaroon ako ng state change bakit ko kailangan gawin yun? Para masabi na, oh, kailangan kong itrick yung katawan ko na it's time to work. It's time to work. And the easiest way to change your state is to just take a bath. Kasi alam alam natin right now, malamig ang panahon, nakakatamad, maligo. Pero, alam mo yung parang, alam mo yung parang na pagka, kumari, you're a full-time trader already. Hindi ka naligo, hindi ka nagpalit ng damit mo, para lethargic, napaka-lethargic nung, nung actions natin. And for you to counter that, ang ginagawa ko, and the easiest trick to do is to just take a bath and have a uniform when you are trading. Hindi ko sinasabi na mag, mag-slacks kayo, mag-skirt kayo, mag-black shoes kayo, whatsoever. Hindi siya ganun. But just have that uniform na kapag suot mo to, it's game time. Parang ganun. For example, ganito. Uh, kapag nag-gym ba kayo? Nakapang, kapag naka-gym ba kayo? Pag gusto nyo mag-exercise, susot ba kayo ng pantulog? Susot ba kayo ng pantulog, guys? Siyempre, hindi, di ba? So, dapat, meron kayong... You have to trick your your psychology or your brain na kapag suot mo to, ito lang yung kailangan mo isipin. And you're focused on that endeavor. So, yan yung one of the tricks that I'm doing, no? To trick my mind na kahit na gano'ng ka-relax yung position ko in my portfolio or wala akong position, kapag suot ko yung uniform ko, start of, start of my, ano yan, start of my work as a trader. Tapos, syempre, uh, basic, basic, after, after market, kain, tapos, I'm doing my admin duties. Admin duties, i- ibig sabihin, bayad ng mga bills or whatsoever. Just basta kailangan ko mag-allocate ng oras. Kailangan ko mag-allocate ng 1 to 2 hours to answer emails, to update update my passbook, whatsoever. Yung admin duties lang as a as a, as a regular citizen of, citizen of the Philippines. So, yun. Tapos, syempre, may oras ako sa pag-workout. Pahinga tapos review ng market. And 
in in my case, uh, ang pagre-review ko ng market hindi umaabot ng isang oras. Hindi umaabot ng isang oras because um <coughs> baka siya hindi umaabot ng isang, isang oras kasi template na siya. May template na siya na ginagawa ko. Kumbaga parang titingnan ko lang yung gainers and losers, titingnan ko yung mga setups na yung alpha setups ko kung kung prime na mato enter, review review lang. Ayun lang, ganoon na siya nang ganoon. Kung mga ano yan eh, uh, paano ko ba sabihin? Template, kumbaga, naintindihan niyo ba where I'm coming from, guys? Coach, yung kumare yung sa template, syempre, mm. uh, morning routine, uh, gising, breakfast, ang uh, so parang ang target before 9, dapat, kasi 9, pre-open na eh. So, so, wala na kayong mga, kung wari, uh, reading books before the oh, yun, mantra wala. or... Wala yan. Sa akin, wala siya. I, I do that after the market. I do that after the market. Although, syempre, uh, that is something that works for me. And I know some traders na ang ginagawa nila, gising na maaga, nagbabasa ng libro, that's their oh no, that's their that's their flow state. So you have to develop your own flow state. Kasi kung titingnan mo, all traders have their own template. And yung template na yun, yun yung flow state flow state nila eh. Kung baga, yung flow state is something na parang autopilot na hindi mo kailangan mag-isip, but it's producing results. And you have to find that flow state na tailor fit doon sa gusto ninyong mangyari. Naiintindihan ba guys? Pero ang 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 key takeaway na gusto ko makuha ninyo dito is yung ano, yung yung state change para hindi kita marin during trading hours. Ayun. Coach, pag Coach. trading hours. Hmm. Tama na 'yan. Sige. Coach, yung process mo na to kasi 'di ba na consider mo na yung sarili mo na ano ka, CPT ka na. Pero nung before ka mag, maging CPT, parehas lang ba yung process mo? Hindi. Hindi siya parehas. It, ano eh, uh, teka, let me, ano, let me, let me rephrase that. The process is the same, the template is the same, but the number of hours processing this task are different. Kasi we can, we 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 eventually reach a, a point na ito lang yung kailangan mong gawin meron maximize results na and ano yan eh may levels yan may levels yan for example uh syempre kung baguhan trader ka you have to put in that time you have to put in that time and the work para ano yan eh para maging madali sa inyo like for example ganito si Doc RC Doc RC is one of the best, ano, one of the, I heard that, I heard, I heard from some of my doctor friends na one of the best, ano yan, urologist, no, Doc, Doc RC, no? one of the best urologists in the Philippines. Hindi siya magiging, hindi siya, ma, hindi niya maabot yung stage na yun kung hindi siya, hindi siya dumaan sa proseso of, of studying, studying yung medicine and putting in, putting on the 10,000 hours of work para magi specialist siya sa ginagawa niya ngayon. So kung mga parang you have to ano, you have to respect respect the ano, respect and honor the process. Kasi ano yan eh, right now especially right now na noong December natin ang daming yumaman. And hindi ko sinasabing ano no, sino dito yung naiinggit, naiinggit doon sa mga results ng ibang traders ta sa kamay. Ta sa kamay. Huwag na mahiya guys. Strong context tayo dito. Di ba si Doc RC medyo naiinggit. And it's normal. It's normal to to have that feeling of envy na parang ay pucha napaka basic na setup pero bakit hindi ko nasakyan yung mga ganun. So, ibig sabihin nun, you're not yet the right person at the right place at the right time for you to ride that stock. Kasi hindi mo pa bini, hindi mo pa binibigay yung bayad 
sa universe. Hindi mo pa binabayad yung 10,000 hours na kailangan mong ibigay sa universe. Kasi pwede mo sabihin, ay bakit si ganito? Nasa Kenya to. Eh hindi mo naman alam na binayaran na niya 10,000 hours na trabaho na kailangan niya gawin. So, umaga, when it comes to the routine, the template is the same. The template is the same. Kasi kahit saan mo tingnan, doon lang talaga umikot yung template eh. But you have to you have to find your own you have to find your own flow state that will work for you. Kasi what works for me might not work for you. And what what works for you might not work for other people. So, ano yun eh, it's a process of finding 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 what works what works well with you. Kasi for example, sabihin natin morning person ka nagigising ka ng alas 5 ng umaga. Alang, alang pilitin mo yung sarili mo na magising ng alas 8 ng umaga, di ba? So, ano yun eh? Kanya-kanyang, ano yan, um, everyone, everyone has their own uniqueness and you have, you, you have to find your own unique flow state. Pero kung kahit balibalik na rin mo yung mundo, doon ang iikot eh. Doon ang iikot yung mundo natin. Kahit sinong trader, kahit sinong trader ang tanongin ninyo, and I'm pretty sure you guys talk about your routines, very similar. Ang nag-iba lang dyan is the order and the time. And the number of hours you're putting on that certain task. And then, so, yun. Yeah. Ito'y dadagdag ko lang, guys. Ha. Huwag kayong magtakot mag-try na mag Huwag kayong matakot na mag-try mang na mag-try. Kasi, uh, bakit ko sinasabi yun? Bakit ko sinasabi yun? Kasi, naturally, as as human beings, as human beings, we want to, we want to have a routine that is comfortable to us. That is comfortable to us, no? Pero, alam natin that comfort is the enemy of progress. Comfort is the enemy of progress. No? Ako, kahit ako, I try to tweak some of my routines para hindi ako maging comfortable sa routine ko. Kailangan lagi may, lagi may stimulus. Lagi may stimulus. No? So, huwag kayo matakot magkamali. Huwag na huwag kayo matatakot magkamali. Kasi, kung hindi ka nagkamali, hindi ka nakamali sa, sa proseso na gusto mong gawin. Hindi mo alam what will work for you kasi nasa isip mo lang, iniisip mo lang siya. Just do it. Huwag na huwag kayo matakot magkamali and have that courage to make mistakes. Alam niyo pinakaayo kong alam niyo kung ano yung pinakaayo kong trait ng isang isang trader. Alam niyo ba kung ano? Medyo ano siya, medyo medyo counterintuitive siya. Uh, ang pinakaayo kong trait ng isang trader is yung perfectionism. Perfectionism. Kailangan perfect yung entry ko. Kailangan perfect yung allocation ko. Kailangan perfect yung ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Mali. Ayoko yan. Kasi kapag hinahanap mo yung perfect entry and exit, mafifixate ka doon sa ego mo. Kasi a, 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 a perfectionist, ang mas pinapahalagahan niya is yung ego niya rather than making progress. Meron akong, meron akong mentor sa Quantum Leap, okay? si Alex Mandosian. Ang sabi niya sa amin, I would prefer, I would prefer uh, sloppy progress versus mediocre perfectionism. Ulitin ko ah, I would prefer sloppy progress versus mediocre perfectionism. Kasi mas mabuti, mas mabuti na, na sloppy yung results mo, yung achievements mo. But at least you're iterating day in and day out versus iniisip mo dada dapat mag- magawa ko to, magawa ko to para perfect. Pero resulta mediocre. Naintindihan ba? So let that simmer in lang guys. Let that simmer in mo. So, what kayo matakot magkamali, guys? Pero 
guys, don't take that, don't take that to heart na kasi baka baka isipin niyo, ay sige, ipasiling natin si Apple. I-all in tayo. Okay lang magkamali. Maling context yun, guys. Maling context yun. Okay, so, ano lang. Uh, we have to put things in perspective. So, any questions? Any questions dun sa, ano? Dun sa nabitawan natin bars? Coach question. Uh, Emerson here. Hi, Emerson. Good evening. Good evening. Happy New Year, by the way. Uh, let's say... Happy um, New Year. Uh, you've mentioned let's say 8 a.m. ka nagigising then let's say 9.30 na start ng market what if there are um, unavoidable uh, emergencies or uh, things na you need to do and nakain talaga yung watch list supposedly watch listing time mo um, do you forgo yung trading that day or do you still push and let's say have umabol with during trading hours okay okay uh, that's a good question no? so Um, if you're asking me, when I do my watch listing, because I do it the night before, I do it the night before, no. So, may meron ng meron ng meron ng plano, no. But if the if if ganito yung scenario, Emerson, no? if ganito yung scenario, I have an open position, then eventually there there has an emergency that I have to do. There are two things that I can do. There are two things that I can do. Number one. If you ha- if your broker if your if your online brokerage has a has a stop loss ano dapat naka ano na yon naka input na yon sa akin or take profit levels or stop loss dapat naka ano yon that's option number one option number two is I just sell all of my positions okay hindi mo kailangan mafomo in trading when it's a matter of life and death situation. Okay. Or it's a responsibility that that you have to do. Okay. Like for example, no Monday, gap up open si APL. Bumili ako sa open. Tapos binenta ko lang binenta ko lang kagad sa 1. Ah, uh, 0.130. So, nagbenta ako because I have to process you a milliar dito sa bahay namin sa Makati. And the following day, I cannot trade because mamumundo kami ni Cap. So, para first hour, umabot sa one, ano, sa 13 cents eh. So, take profit na ako. So, I'm just being objective with, with my time constraints and my commitment to my family and to and to Cap. Which is mamumundo kami and magkakaroon kami ng toy drive no Tuesday. Which apparently, dapat din yung session natin. So, pasensya na guys. Thank you for understanding. So yun. Nasagot ko ba yung question, Emerson? Yes, coach. Thank you very much. Ayun, you're welcome. You're welcome. But, uh, are are you ano? Are you a full-time trader, Emerson, or may negosyo ka bang hinahawakan or what's your? Uh, no, actually ano ako, coach ako. Um, uh, may may day job ako. Then uh, this coming year kasi I'll have I I'm living in the province and may mga twice a week ako. Um, luas for 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 work ko. so yun yung mga na anticipate ko this coming year ah okay siguro kapag ganyan pare ang first suggestion ko is you have to accept that there are certain stocks that you cannot trade hindi mo kailangan ma-fomo in trading and you have to accept that kasi that's part of your that's part of your limitations eh as a participant in the stock market now you have to you have to go out of the province for your ano for your responsibility in work so ano pwedeng mong gawin diyan uh, pwedeng take profits ka na kagad kapag luluwas ka the following day or no positions before you you go out pero syempre ang ang deeper ang deeper course dyan is you have to know what trade setups work for you. Okay? So, kasi madaling sabihin na, ah, sige, mag ano ka, mag buy on support, sell on resistance ka. Pero it doesn't work for you. Kasi yan yung, yan yung auto response eh, na mga, na mga trader, mga trader bodies natin. O bakit ayaw mag buy on support, sell on resistance, eh, lumulubas ka. 
Eh, but what if wala kang data doon? Hindi ka magaling doon. You're a momentum trader. So th- those are the things that you have to factor in. What are what what's what are your bread and butter setups? What what profile are you in terms of trading? And so on and so forth. Sabi ko nga kay Chris nung nag-message sa akin. Control the variables to in your favor. Control the variables in your favor. Once you control the variables, you can win the game. Kasi yung trading naman, ang ano lang naman diyan, ano ba yung variables mo? Buy and sell of stocks. Di ba? Buy and sell of stocks. What kind of strategy? Etc. etc. You control those based on your circumstances. Mamimili ka lang. But again, you have to anticipate na may mga stocks kang hindi masasakyan. It's because of your responsibility in life. So, yun. May follow-up question, Emerson? Okay na yun, sir. Uh, coach, appreciate it. Ayos, sige. Sige, bigyan natin isang bagsak si Emerson in 3, 2, 1. Yeah.